All right, <laughs> Dr. Mancasi, you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Nancy. All right, well, hello, everyone. We have an amazing global audience today with folks joining us from around the world, including Asia, Europe, and the United States. My name is Nancy Devine. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer with Trice Imaging, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Trice Key Opinion Leader webinar series, where we highlight one of our clinical users who's truly leveraging Triceify to drive value through increasing remote clinical collaboration, streamlining workflows, and ultimately improving clinical outcomes and delivering better patient care. I am thrilled to introduce Dr. Ralph Menkhaus, co-owner of Gyn Concept based in Germany and a specialist in fertility, prenatal ultrasound, and gynecology. Dr. Menkhaus has been a member of the German Ultrasound Federation, FMF, and ISWAG for 20 years. His unit has been a GE test site since 2011. Connected by Tricify since 2018, Dr. Menkhaus leads a network of doctors practicing across multiple locations and sites, and they continue to expand their reach with their locations. Now, like many of you, Dr. Menkhaus initially started exploring Tricify, based wanting to look for a storage solution. He and his staff were forced to purchase additional storage almost every 10 months or so. I'm sure not unlike a lot of you. What he quickly learned was Trice could provide significant, significant, significant value throughout his entire practice, impacting his remote collaborations with his uh, physician colleagues, clinical workflow, and his patients, most importantly, right? His patients tell him that they are um, just really enthusiastic and thrilled that he's on a modern technology platform where he's able to immediately and remotely share their images very easily through any smart device. So lots to cover. Uh, I'm certain this discussion will be very impactful and full of knowledge for you. Um, what I'm hoping to do, I know a lot of you are looking at this solution. Uh, Dr. Menhau Ken Menkhaus will be sharing um, different ideas and solutions that you might be able to overlay in your practice. Um, a quick note about the format. Uh, Dr. Menkhaus will speak for about 30 minutes or so based on um, the detail that he gets into. Um, and then we're allowing for about 15 minutes for questions and open forum discussion. We would love to hear um, from all of you from a peer-to-peer -peer discussion. So um, feel free to, as this, the, the, the discussion gets going, drop questions within the chat box and use the raise hand feature whenever. Um, Eba and myself will capture those questions and we'll address those at the end of the discussion. And without further ado, uh, it's my pleasure to hand it off to Dr. Ralph Menkos. Yes, uh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your nice uh, introduction. And uh, hello, everybody. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Um, I hope that uh, my presentation will uh, be helpful. And um, as Nancy already said, uh, I invite you to uh, ask anything you want to um, after uh, the presentation. So, um, I, as Nancy already said, I specialize in uh, fetal medicine about uh, 20 years ago. And uh, since 2004, I run uh, this unit together with my two partners, um, Michael Domschat and uh, Stefanie Strung. A few, word about, a few words about us. Um, our unit has specialized in fertility treatment, prenatal medicine, and uh, gynecology in general. And uh, we have our own lab, which is uh, very important if you treat fertility patients that you get your hormone analysis on the same day. So where is Minden? Uh, that's a city of about 100,000 people. And um, to give you an, uh, uh, a rough imagination, it's about uh, Amsterdam is, is 300 kilometers to the west and Berlin is uh, 300 kilometers to the east. So you might get um, uh, an imagination where you can find us. And uh, in our unit in Minden, 
We use about six ultrasound devices. We work here together in parallel with six doctors. And on the left side, you can see our biologist doing a NICSI procedure. And you can see myself working with the GE E10. And that takes me to the partnership with GE. We make use of GE machines since 2004, and we have several uh, different uh, models of them. And uh, as we are test sites since, two, uh, since uh, two, 2011, um, we are very happy that we can always evaluate the latest releases. Um, for example, the last one was the E22, which was just launched last week. Uh, for a few years, we've been expanding now to for more locations with more doctors and uh, more devices. And uh, this is in a, about a 30 kilometer radius um, around Minden. And all these uh, locations have to be um, connected to our main um, uh, uh, location in Minden. But now let's uh, talk about TRICE. So our story started in 2018. And as Nancy all, uh, has already mentioned in the beginning, um, we really ran into archiving problems. The more uh, ultrasound devices um, we applied in our unit, the more data um, we had to store. And in the beginning, our um, IT company told us where storage is cheap and um, it's no problem. It will get cheaper within the next year. But just the opposite was true. We didn't only have to buy new storage plates, but bigger servers, new software, everything. And uh, in 2018, I was quite fed up with that. And uh, while attending the ISOC Congress in Singapore, I uh, met the solution at the Tricify booth. Um, I was looking for a cloud solution. This is provided by Tricify. So it's an online database which uh, meets the quite strict German data uh, safety requirements. This is what colleagues often ask, well, is it um, really safe um, what you do with the cloud solutions? Or so Germany, everybody's very sensitive about uh, data safety, but um, uh, Tricify is safe. And um, it uh, generated uh, many advantages uh, in our unit um, before. We, we've, con uh, we've done a special configuration in our machines. This is quite easy. That after finishing each exam, uh, all images and clips are uploaded uh, to the cloud automatically. And um, this um, well, was really great improvement as uh, our doctors had to do that manually before. And uh, well, sometimes if it's very busy in the unit, you know these days, um, then you forget to, um, to save the data. Sometimes the connection doesn't work. So it was really time saving and um, it's a lot of safer as that's done automatically. And while the images are uploaded, you can do something else. And we save really a lot of money um, on hardware now because we don't have to uh, um, ex uh, expand our uh, IT system um, at our place here in Minden in that, um, uh, as, as we had before. So it's, um, that is um, one of the main points. But um, we have a unified workflow in all branches. This is um, important as well. So for example, if doctors change their workplace during vacation or due to illness, um, it's um, important that we have um, the, that the workflow remains the same, that they don't have to um, um, uh, have to, to store their data um, in another way when they uh, work um, at another place. So this is uh, parallel. This is, of course, very uh, safe and uh, comfortable. And um, what is nice too, that we have access to all images and clips from every unit. So if you see on Monday um, a patient in location A and you see the same patient on Friday, for example, a fertility patient in uh, location D, you have access to the images they're not stored locally, but in an online database. And uh, this offers many advantages. And um, that uh, takes me to the um, uh, second big point, that is um, the online availability and the option to do online consultation. And um, everybody who does um, prenatal scanning, when you run into malformations or that the fetus has a disease like anemia, um, you will have to refer them to a uh, tertiary care center. And uh, this is um, very easy. I will show that um, in a moment that you don't, that you not only send the report, but that you can send the images. And uh, so the patient doesn't have to go there by, uh, by himself, but um, you can just send your images and uh, clips and 
and um, the experts can judge better what he wants to do or when he wants to see the patient or that you uh, can get into diagnosis. And on the other hand, when uh, um, colleagues refer patients to you and because they suspect something, you can exclude that, you can uh, give them access to your whole examination and these colleagues are very happy. They one told me it's really like participating in the whole procedure. And um, so it's, uh, in my opinion, a really great advantage. And uh, I will show that online uh, within the next minutes. And um, of course, patient communication is a big topic. And um, Nancy has also mentioned that already that uh, the patients, they get their uh, images not uh, uh, printed, but they get it uh, digitally on their mobile. And they save, of course, a lot of money on that you don't have to buy the quite expensive um, printing paper. And uh, the patients, they consider you that you are very modern to get and get their pre reports and um they are um uh, uh the images digitally so now i um will switch to the so my tricify account okay i just perfect hope everybody can see me and um so um, I just uh, moved um, a few cases uh, to this anonymized um, account and uh, I'll show you now how I uh, do um, uh, consultations. So as you can see on this um, clip here, see that there's something wrong with the fetus, that the stomach is um, directly, uh, the stomach is uh, next to the for chamber view of the heart, which is not normal, of course. The heart is totally tilted to the right side of the fetus due to a diaphragmatic hernia that the stomach and uh, part of the intestines, you can see here in the 3D, uh, has uh, gone through the diaphragm uh, into the chest. And of course, this fetus um, will need special postnatal treatment. So how do I do the referral? I can just um, click go here so back to the study so I can just um, select the images I want to send and then have the option the button here send to send to patient no send to doctor yes and uh, Jen, I just type in my email so That. Okay, and then I then I can uh, decide if I want to anonymize the image data, if the person I still send this, if they can comment only, or if they can get full access and download um, the images, and uh, then I just begin the consultation. And um, you can see that the consultation, so that the system prepares the consultation, the files are sent, and um, and you can go here to notes and done, done that um, for demonstration purposes a few days ago, of course. So I wrote to myself, hi, X, Y, Z, when do you want to see the patient? Is FIDO indicated? And then you get in your email a collaboration notification. You don't need to have um, Tricify um, installed uh, on your system. You can just click on the link and uh, leave your note. That's what I did here. No FIDO indicated, my case we see patient July 7, 3 p.m., for example. What is helpful too is you usually search for your cases by typing in the patient ID or the patient name. But uh, sometimes for presentations, for example, it might be interesting to um, have a special selection. For example, if you want to get all cases with a, um, congenital heart disease or cases of IOGR or cases of diaphragmatic hernia. And uh, this is uh, helpful if you label these uh, examinations. You can done, do, do this here. And uh, for example, we can add a label. And here you can see a selection of labels I've already created. And for example, we can do this here, um, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, I add the label. Well, and when you then uh, go back to your studies and for example, you search for uh, CH, then you can 
you can see here, you could press on CDH and then this um, uh, examination will, um, uh, will uh, come up. So back to the, um, the other cases. Um, once a week I work uh, in the hospital and I discuss cases there with the pediatricians and uh, this is usually um, by taking my iPad with me and can just um, log in in the hospital. For example, this was a case of a cystic uh, malformation of the fetus. You can see that this heart is uh, totally uh, compressed to the right side um, because um, of this uh, lesion of the lung. and um, this condition usually resolves uh, within the next weeks. If you see it here, that's a follow up a few weeks later. You can only see this uh, lesion has become a lot smaller. And uh, it's quite interesting for the pediatrician to see the development um, of this lesion and uh, that they do a follow up scan or, or, or an X ray um, when the baby is born to ensure that there won't be a problem with the lung. And um, well, here can do this again at a label, for example, cystic malformation of the lung. Let's uh, um, create a label. So if we create a new label, CCAML, and um, then we save the label and uh, we have a new label which we um, uh, can search for in our archive. So that is um, really helpful. And Another topic, of course, are fertility patients. So um, sometimes um, fertility patients um, go for the treatment abroad because they can do their prenatal genetic um, diagnosis, which is only uh, which is limited in, in Germany to uh, selected uh, cases. Sometimes people hope that they get a better pregnancy rate if they do that. Um, and uh, so if the patients show up for a, a scan during the uh, the ovarian simulation you can uh, give them uh, easily the number and size of the follicle they can forward that to their uh, to the doctor to their set to their, to their fertility center and then they get um, from their doctor information about the dosage or when will the ovum pickup will take place this was the case um, where we had uh, uh, quite a tricky position here of a uh, myoma and uh, they didn't get pregnant um, in the first two attempts so we decided to send her to um, a specialist um, uh, who could uh, counsel her um, to uh, uh, how to get uh, could counsel about uh, doing an operation and uh, if it would be possible to remove the myoma so we can uh, send them the 3D images and 2D images and um, the surgeon can tell her well it's possible or uh, it is not possible and here you can see for example the number and um, the size of the follicles again so that is an um, important group of uh, patients too and what we use of course every day is uh, that uh, the, the, uh, your patients also have nice um, pictures and um, so this was done I did uh, yesterday in embryo 10 week embryo and um, then you can select the pictures here as well and uh, send them to patient and you can either add the, uh, the email address or the uh, mobile number and uh, if you um, at the mobile number, then they will get an uh, SMS and with a download link. And uh, if they uh, download the Tricify app, they can uh, store these uh, um, images within the app as the download link um, uh, is valid only for about 90 days. But then they will have the, these uh, images uh, for a longer time. It's quite often that people ask when they come back for the second child, well, do you still have the images of my first one? So this is um, uh, quite a good advice to tell them, well, download them to the app, then you, your uh, images won't go away. So, so far to the uh, archive, so I go back um, to, my presentation. So let us see here. 
Dr. Menkos, can I just yes. mention one thing? Thank you so much yes. for sharing that workflow. And I would just point out so many, um, you know, valuable points and the power of the platform. I, I think just a couple of things. One thing that resonated with me when you were sharing that, you know, when you're yes. collaborating in the hospital with your colleagues, we've heard from other physicians that, you know, have been somewhat, at least here in the States, locked out of getting into their patient data because they're having to uh, pull like a user license and like at the point where they're trying to access the data, there's a, there's a, they've maxed out on a user license. So kind of at the end of it, they're sort of locked out of looking at their patient data. Using this platform eliminates that, that challenge to it. So, you know, hugely powerful when, when you're trying to, to round and, uh, you know, consult with your, with your partners and such. So among other things that okay. you mentioned. So thank you yeah. for, for detailing that. Yes, <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. So um, so th that, that's really helpful. And um, uh, if you can, uh, so what I said, I usually take, take uh, my iPad with me and then you can have a look at these um, uh, images together with the pediatrician. They, it's um, a really good form of collaboration because the pediatrician uh, understands the case much better than you send them only the report. And uh, if they can see live images, this is um, very helpful. We've done that for uh, two years now, and uh, that really um, improved um, uh, our workflow. And um, just to show this is what your, um, uh, what your colleague gets when you invite him to have a consultation. He gets a link uh, where he can uh, click on, then he uh, can get into the, um, the data bank. And this was the case of fetal arrhythmia, for example, which I mentioned. And here you can see that uh, my colleague, he uh, gave a complete explanation. So the patient didn't have to go there. So the case was solved uh, online. This was very comfortable for um, the lady, of course, because she didn't have to go elsewhere, which is uh, sometimes really time consuming. And um, this um, and Trustify viewpoint, they really work um, well together. And um, I will show you that too. And uh, I hope it um, will be as possible to uh, show you that as well. So I will share Thailand. Okay, so that. And um, okay, can you see that? that yes, we can. Okay. Yes, okay, perfect. So this is, um, I think everybody's familiar with the viewpoint um, six, and um, this is um, um, an um, example of a 13 week scan. You can see here the clips uh, and um, the images, and you can go here so you can uh, select, um, for example, if you want to send this, um, uh, this image. And then you go here on this button and tries is integrated here in viewpoint. Then we have here a link. And uh, so we can send uh, the report to the patient if we have his mobile number, or we can share the report. Just go to report first. So here's the report that looks nicer. And um, you, can, you can see the images here. I go to tries and we can send this to the patient or we can share this with the colleague. For example, here I have um, my email address again. Um, or we can upload um, the examination to our tries uh, archive, the complete viewpoint report. Then it's um, on your online database as well. So that is um, um, really comfortable that so you can share your reports and your uh, images. You can really share the whole um, examination. Okay, so I'm back. So I'll come to the last points of uh, my presentation. So sorry for the switching, but it's otherwise it's not possible. So we learned about that. And um, so summarizing, must really say that the uh, communication with uh, other doctors is very quick, very easy and safe. And uh, viewing a whole examination 
is far better than just getting a report with single images. And well, if you look at the pre tricify times, when you, um, you, you just had to, um, if you want to send um, a report, you have to get a PDF from the viewpoint, had to store it somewhere, I had to send that by email, and which is, um, well, um, uh, that's not very good in terms of um, uh, data safety criteria. Or if you want to send uh, a couple of images or a couple of clips, um, you had to download them as well from your uh, ultrasound machine and transfer them with uh, devices like WeTransfer, which is either not really made for um, uh, medical data. So that's um, much quicker, much uh, safer. And uh, it's um, if you send these reports um, to your colleagues, it's, you get uh, always a quick answer. You don't have to try to get them by phone, and um, which uh, can be, or which might take take a lot of time. So when I run into um, a diagnosis and want a second opinion, sends the patient error, I just send an email, and um, I usually get a quick response. And as I showed to some cases can be solved quite online. Um, in terms of uh, legacy, it's um, uh, documentation is um, quite important. As you can see it, you really have uh, seen all structures um, of the fetus. And if you run into any problem, when you uh, detect any problems of the fetus, you can have a good documentation um, where you send the patient about the answers you get. So uh, that's quite important and uh, specific for Germany that you Public insurance, they um, ask you every few years to um, uh, present the documentation for five out of 10 selected cases. And if this documentation is not sufficient, um, you, uh, will, uh, uh, you, you will get a punishment in some form. So that's really helpful um, if you have a good documentation. Um, and if you have this on an online database, it's, um, I think, the most modern and uh, effective solution. This is um, when I have the case on my iPad for discussion in the hospital or elsewhere. If you go to a congress, for example, you have uh, some, uh, you meet some experts say, hmm, I just had a case here, I can show you this. So you uh, take your data with you everywhere. And this is an uh, example of the uh, Tricify app, which can be branded, for example, here with the logo and the uh, uh, patients where they can um, collect their images here. So uh, to conclude, storage problems were solved. Uh, we have a safe documentation um, regarding legal issues um, as well. It's very comfortable with an automatic image upload. Um, we can search your database easy if you uh, apply tagging. Uh, you have easy access from everywhere um, because it's an online database. And um, it's, um, you're really well connected to uh, doctors. Um, more and more doctors uh, make use of it. And um, nobody really wants to go back to paper or to fax reports. And it's really easy to make consultations. And uh, what is really important, the patients are, of course, really happy. Um, Germany is uh, uh, not very known for its uh, digital development. So people here are especially happy uh, when they get uh, digital images and um, solutions. So thank you very much um, for your attention. I hope you can get some benefit uh, out of the presentation. And also I'm uh, happy um, to answer your questions. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I will open it up to everyone. And please don't be shy. We would love to hear from, from all of you and share different uh, stories, questions, and comments with everyone so we can all learn from each other. I had, while we're waiting, yes. I had just a comment, comment relating to um, the, one of your last slides of the audit trail, you know, for continuity of care. I feel this piece is actually often overlooked, right? So um, having everything right at your finger, fingertips here within the platform allows for visibility of the entire progression of your, of the treatment of your patient, right? So I would imagine this is critical for your diagnosis process and just confidence when you're deciding on a, on a treatment option, correct? Again, what, we're, what we've heard from people who have, you know, kind of come over from um, like a traditional PACS is kind of the 
um, sometimes having to sign in and out of, of multiple solutions to sort of piece together um, a, a patient's complete um, treatment history, where this is, it's all there right in front of you, where you can really easily access it and see the entire progression of a, of a treatment. Yes, I that's, that's totally true. You really can see um, every uh, single examination you have done and um, what was the, the consequence you've drawn out of the examination that you said, okay, there's, um, um, there's a problem with the fetus, you refer them um, to, to an expert, this is what the expert said, so you really have a complete uh, patient history. And uh, well, it's not very often, but if it comes um, uh, to a, a legal case, then you can always say, okay, that's, uh, that's uh, what we have. Um, um, well, and, uh, um, it's, it's not, not, not um, you don't have any difficulties to collect um, all the data. It's, uh, it's just there. So it's, um, that's really good. And um, even if you want to, if you talk with the, with the insurance, um, before it was, well, you had to print out every report, to print out the images. And uh, well, nowadays you can just um, collect um, uh, the, the relevant images and send them um, uh, to the insurance company um, who will check your data and say, well, it's okay or uh, it's not okay. Usually it's okay. Yeah, so that's, 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 an, uh, that's an important fact, documentation, yes. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is everybody, is anybody using it uh, already to do uh, consultations or, or for, um, I think many of them use it uh, for their patients only. That's what, what we started with, that we uh, sent the images to the patient. The thought was what we very did from uh, the beginning when we um, uh, introduced Tricify in our unit, uh, but now we do a lot more with it. And uh, it was, uh, ever told me you can, even uh, brand your uh, app like in a way that you can go to, um, for example, to surveys or they could, can make appointments um, with the app. So there's uh, still a lot of potential in it. Is that it? true, Eva? Yeah. Yes, exactly. You could, um, from your Tracify account, you could adjust and add any form for a survey or link to your website. Uh, so you can market your clinic uh, through the patient app as well. Quick question, because uh, we've got a lot of folks joining who work across multiple locations, which is your setup. And you spoke um, very clearly about that, but curious, um, what are some of the, the biggest increases in efficiencies that your team has seen using the platform across all of your multiple locations? Kind of a yes. broad question, but maybe a couple that come to mind. Yes, that's um, uh, that has created really an advantage that, which um, I haven't expected uh, before. But uh, it uh, began um, very early after we have implemented that. That um, a colleague called me, "Oh, okay, Ralph, could you have could you give me an opinion on that patient?" Or so you can just it's, it's uh, patient number X Y Z. And uh, yes, okay. And then went to the database and it looked well. It looked like this. And uh, then okay, we discovered. Oh, okay. We, could do that by email as well. And so you don't have to grab the phone because you're sometimes, I think, I feel you are always disturbed a colleague. If you try to get a colleague on the, to call him um, by phone, he will always be um, in, in a consultation or doing a scan or uh, in the theater. So it's, I think uh, for me and for many colleagues, it would be much nicer to get an email because you, and if you have time, you check your email several times a day and they say, oh, okay, that's an, a question your colleague want to ask. And uh, that sometimes can be solved online, just type in, well, um, it's nothing, you can go ahead or, hmm, okay, um, we should have a look at this uh, together and um, um, call each other. So, um, that, that, so that is very helpful. And, um, um, and we offer that patients that they um, might be seen different locations depending on where they work. For example, for fertility patients, um, uh, sometimes um, it's uh, no problem to come to our main unit in Minden, but well, if they work, for example, more to the west or to the south, I don't know if you remember here my, uh, the, the, the small map I showed, um, for, it's, it's easier for them to go to, the, to one of our branches and uh, then you know, it's no problem, you can just uh, have a look at your database and see, okay, this was the, um, was the follicle size 
three or four days ago. And uh, so this is a follicle size today. And uh, so you can adjust your, um, uh, your treatment or give advice, but uh, or give further counseling. Well, it's, 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 it's very good. So it's, uh, that, that's the biggest advantage that you have your data always around you. If you have a, your smartphone, you, you can have it on the phone. Last week, I was at the Fetal uh, Medicine Congress in Crete. And um, when I had one interesting case, I just said it here on my uh, iPhone, and because I sit next to a colleague and say, hey, have you ever seen that? And um, so, well, do you have your, do you have all your images and clips? Yes, uh, I have them, no problem here. <laughs> well, it was, uh, well, it was, uh, um, well, was uh, quite astonished about that, and uh, this is uh, feasible, and it's well, it's uh, not a big trick anymore. Yeah, that's wonderful, mm -hmm. and obviously super important. As you know, we're we're hopefully getting out of you know the the post COVID. I mean, healthcare is just transitioning to a much more remote. Uh, you know, segment. And I, it, personally, I don't think it's going to go back to, you know, where we were before, right? I think we are in the sort of new norm of yes. doing a lot more um, remote interaction, right? And just from a physician perspective, you know, being XYZ wherever you are in the world, being able to access patient information immediately and remotely as, as easily as you, as you just detailed. Yes, it's it's uh, like you say. It's a uh, best example is our talks this afternoon. Yes, we are uh, we are uh, all located in, in different uh, places uh, yeah. in far distance from each other. And I think yes, uh, medicine is uh, be is becoming or is, is globalizing more and more. And well, if you know an expert in New York, why don't ask this expert? Yes, if, even if you are in Germany. Yeah. And the second question is, what version of viewpoint is traced by integrate with yes i think it's, it's uh, only the latest version it's a viewpoint six i think which uh, integrates uh, tricify so we have um, i've only done it with this viewpoint six but i don't think that the older ones the viewpoint five which still many colleagues prefer um, but i think it's um, not integrated there and i think it's not supported anymore so i think you have you need to have the um, the latest release I just had kind of a, um, a curious question, just from a patient engagement perspective. What, what are what's the reaction from your patients when they kind of initially see um, the images over their phone, like for the first time? When when you're yes, first yes I, I say so, uh, so. Many of them are surprised. They they always ask, "Well, uh, do I get print out?" No, I think I can't print anymore. So I don't even have a printer uh, on my system anymore, and um, uh, you will get it on your phone. Okay, <laughs> and uh, no, they are, they are very happy. And um, before they leave, it's mostly the, the data transfer is uh, already achieved, and they, they get a ping on their uh, on their mobile. Say, wow, the, the images are already here, and uh, well, they consider it to be very modern. It it all fits. Yes, you have a, a modern device. Um, okay, then patients uh, or when my doctors send patients to you. Uh, patients expect that it's it's uh, that it is different from uh, from the the devices uh, their doctors uh, use, and uh, so this fits in the whole procedure. You have a uh, you have a high-end ultrasound system, and uh, of, uh, of course, then you need a high-end reporting um, as well. And uh, for for example, we need it um, as well when we do the first trimester scan. We have to wait for the lab results for uh, two or three days usually. And uh, when we have the results, we do the final risk calculation. And when we see, send the report um, to the patients by uh, SMS. So we say, okay, the final uh, report we will get when we have the lab results and you get them electronically. So, um, so yeah, the patients are, I would say, quite thrilled about it. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That, that's the consistent feedback we receive as well, right? Uh, because mm -hmm. obviously everyone's on uh, social media platforms, which makes it easy to just share. Uh, yes, you know, receive. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Any other questions? Yes, we have one question. Does the patient name transfer when sending directly to a patient? Fully anonymized, and we, uh, of course, follow all patient um, security and privacy policies. Mm. Absolutely. And depending on where you are, you know, it's it can be a little bit different. So we can, you know, very happily address specific regional questions and cases. 
Um, but I, I just wanted to thank everyone so much for joining. I know everyone's time is um, very precious and we're all really busy. So uh, greatly appreciate you taking time. And hopefully um, you learned a lot about the platform and potentially learned about some new features and functionality that you hadn't heard about and um, can hopefully apply them to your workflow and your practice and with your patients. So uh, looking forward to following up with all of you. and. Um, again, thanks so much. And again, this series, we're doing this um, just about every every month, every other month or so. So um, we look forward to seeing you at the next session of our KOL web series. And um, yeah, until then, take care. And we're happy to answer any questions offline. Dr. Menkos, thank you so much for your, your time and for your presentation. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for participating. And uh, well, have a wish everybody a nice day, nice afternoon, wherever, yes. a nice evening, and good morning, good afternoon, night, right? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay.